An interview with Mr. Tony Galvez, a professional tech voc teacher, trainer, assessor, and a master in hairdressing and beauty care with years of tech voc practice and exposure. This one-on-one -on -one interview where he discusses his position on the tech voc in K-12 technical vocational livelihood and TESTA system in Philippine qualifications framework. Did you know that the Department of Education Senior High School and TESTA programs overlaps? TechVoc curriculum should be handled by expert practitioners in the technical field. Tony Galvez said, as a practitioner in the field of TechVoc, I have received remarks that TechVoc graduates are not treated well. According to business groups, TechVoc graduates are half-baked. Employers still prefer college graduates. Why? Because this batch lacks skills training from the K-12 program. Employer's interpretation of equivalency of NC2 is novice. If you are a graduate of K-12 with NC2 certifications, this is not enough to land a job. Work abroad? Did you know that progressive countries will ask proof of your skills training documents and take a board exam to get a license to practice your profession? There is a high standard implemented by employers overseas. Employers hire TechVoc graduates and are given a salary or service fee based on the level of education, training, and length of working experience. Let us push through with the K-12 education system, but we need to guide early the junior high school about the importance of TechVoc industry. For senior high school with technical vocational livelihood strand, Galvez highly recommend to separate TechVoc from K-12. Tech voc is another profession. It's an occupation where you can set up your own business or become an employee. Leave it to the tech voc experts. Kung OK and K-12, but K Walong Trabajo. K-12 program concluded that the graduates will be job ready. In reality, the two years spent in senior high school is a waste of time. Students could have used the said two years for a particular training vocational education and training or TVET industry specialization in a specific and restrictive field of occupation. Galvez spoke, being a member and officer of different organizations in the Philippines and as part of associating himself with people in the TechVoc industry, the students, graduates, practitioners, TechVoc institutions, employers, and as consumers. Having TechVoc in K-12, department had made it appear as a livelihood, people perceived it as a cheap alternative to education, that graduates would not become successful. Tony Galvez added that it needs to be corrected or else they will still continue offering short-term education. Whoever sits on the TechVoc will continue the same system that TESTA is doing. People call it Pang Bobo. It's about time we uplift the status of TechVoc education. Let us recreate Philippines as the TechVoc Center in Asia with global standards that can encourage not only local but foreign students to enroll in the Philippines. Quality skills and training education and let us set globally competitive standards. In fact, TechVoc graduates are in demand and the economic drivers of a progressive country. Galvez added that, My disappointment is the image projection of TechVoc made by leaders of educators in our country. There is an obvious inferior treatment with the TechVoc industry. They did not consider it a serious profession. That's why public perceptions consider it a lowly job. Let me educate you. Bring back the students' interest in TechVoc. Calibrate the curriculum. Separate TechVoc education and appoint expert practitioner. Technical vocational education and training or TVET schools should have global standards and are competitive with other Asian neighbors. TVET graduates can be a big help in the economy. Thank you for watching our TechVoc episode.